make sure it's working. Oh, sorry. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Sit on the floor. You're so dark. Sit on the floor. I know, I'm testing the footage. Why are you getting mad? Maybe because there's food in front of me and I'm so hungry. Hey, it's Peter. What's up, friends? And welcome back to my channel. So today, we are going to be eating some Thai food. I'm joined with Patrick Starr, my brother, and uh, Fabian. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this <laughs> this little mukbang Monday. This is the second episode. If you guys haven't seen our last episode, make sure to go check that out. I'll link in the description box below. Um, but we're starving. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. And um, I guess, why don't we just dig in because we are hungry. I got Pad Thai with chicken. Patrick got... <laughs> Spring rolls with shrimp. I'm hungry. He also got pad thai. Fabian got. I must. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I got fried calamari and I got this. I also I got know. dumplings. <laughs> oh, good. We have chicken. <laughs> well, I have, I have spring rolls too, so. We do. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm a pescatarian if y'all forgot. Oh my goodness. Your pad thai has chicken in it too? Yeah. <laughs> I like these kinds of videos because you get to like eat with the audience. Yeah, so if you guys are eating breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I remember last time um, I was reading the comments in the last video and someone said that they were eating breakfast while they were watching the video. So if you guys have food, if you guys need some company, join us and let's eat. Mm -mm. I think most of us are going to be pretty silent because we're just so hungry. <laughs> right now. So hungry. I'm drinking water. Oh, Peter. Mm. Peter has fancy water. I have fancy water us. today. So, um, I had this water bottle from the concierge service from The Grove. So, if you guys don't follow Fabian and I, or I on uh, Snapchat or Instagram stories, um, we were robbed. We were robbed. So, the other day, Fabian and I went to The Grove to go shopping. I was in New York. Yeah, so Patrick was in New York, and then we went to The Grove to go shopping. And then, at The Grove, they have a service where they can wash the car. You just drop it off to the valet. The valet takes it to the car wash, and then it gets cleaned while you shop at The Grove. And so, basically, Fabian and I spent a couple of hours at The Grove. We ate dinner. We shopped around. We went around The Grove and everything like that. And then we went back to go pick up the car at the valet service. So... As soon as we got to the valet service, you know, it's a normal thing where you give it a ticket in and then you um, wait. So we were waiting there and then all of a sudden you, we see like one person, two people, three people get their cars before us. And then I was like, oh, you know, this happened last time. They took a little bit longer um, to get our car. And then I remember just waiting there. We were there for like maybe like 20 minutes or 30 minutes before an attendant came up to us. And then he was like... Oh, uh, he was like, I'm sorry, but do you guys have the keys to your car? And then at that moment, I was like, oh my gosh, no. Like, why would we have the keys to our car if we gave it to you, to the valet, to take it to the car wash? It didn't even make sense. It didn't make sense. I was like... And we were like, okay. Um, and then well, maybe like another 30 minutes or so passed, and then they come back to us with an update, and they're like, I'm sorry, but we did lose the keys. We're trying to check all the employees. We're trying to figure out who took the keys from the car wash. And literally, it just, it was a mess. Um, here's some Snapchats so you guys can see what went down. So we got our car wash here at the Grove. And then um, one of the attendants came up to us and was like, you guys have the keys to the car? <laughs> what? I gave it to the valet guy to take to the car wash. What? Hopefully they have our car. If they don't, we're going to get it. I'm my phone's dead. <laughs> like, does he not understand? They were nice enough. They brought us some water. <laughs> That's no consolation. No. My phone's dead. But we're here, just hoping for the best. Uh, we've been here for 30 minutes already. It's a little chilly here. You need to grow. <laughs> I'm cold. I don't have a sweater. Girl, I got you. you no, no, yet, not yet. <laughs> All right, quick update. We literally went up to the car wash. <laughs> we checked that the key was in the car. It was not in the car. Now um, they're calling everybody to see. They're calling all the employees to see whether or not they have the keys. A lot of people have left by this time. It's already late, but yeah, we're here. Peter gave me his phone so he could Snapchat. All oh, this is going on. This has been the biggest problem of <laughs> our lives. This is the manager that owns the car wash. He's trying to figure out everything. They're still trying to find the freaking key. And uh, yeah, we're in the, taking the back ways up the Grove to get to the Peter. Hey guys, we got the spare key, now we're back in the car. 
We're just waiting for final paperwork. And I'm on. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very crazy day, right? I'm so mad. But accidents happen, and I just pretty glad. And they that. will repent for their sins. <laughs> They are so mad at us. <laughs> it's your employee's fault! Like, what the heck? We spent two and a half hours here at the Grove! Fix yourself! <laughs> Next time we come back, you better be correct! But yeah, that was just like an intense, like, two and a half to three hours. And it was a good thing I wasn't there. <laughs> I was in New York for the Tribeca Film Festival, so it's like I lost my phone last night. Uh, another story. <laughs> it's a good story time today. It's the it's the week of losing. <laughs> this ain't my channel, so I <laughs> curse all <laughs> the time. I <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in New York, and my friend tech tells me, and I was like, you know what? I like to get angry about things, so I was like, okay, well, hopefully, at least, the thing is, is like as long as you're safe, as long as you're alive, you're well. I'm fine. As long as there wasn't a car accident, let's, it's fine. I'm, I don't like to stress about things because there's just so much that happens on a day-to-day -day basis that isn't like, uh, it's not a regular schedule. So That's what I was going to say. Somebody, even people who were writing were like, ooh, uh, thank goodness Patrick was there. I was like, if Patrick was here, the bro would have shut down. Nobody would have left until the key would have appeared. And I was like, I would have, mm. I, do, do I look, comment down below, do I look like a bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Do I no no? But if, if if I was in your place of work, do you think does it look like I would raise hell? I would have busted out my old Brenda wig. <laughs> Can I speak to your manager wig and raise hell? You don't like it? I don't. Do it you tastes want to, a little bit like feet. Feet. For the <laughs> I do too. Chicken feet. Well, Us too. I know we talked about this. I we did. did. Some. You did. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then he brought the soup to, um... I had chicken feet, and I brought it to my work, and it's all these white people, okay? Mm -hmm. I love the white people. But I had chicken feet. I knew they were going to say something, because they don't understand this. So, my grandma made chicken feet soup, and I was like, okay, these people are going to judge me. I had it there, and I was... She's Colombian. We're Filipino, so there's, like, delicacies, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I was purposely eating like this, and I would take the foot, and I would eat it. <laughs> And the foot look like this. <laughs> it look like this, eh? <laughs> and then like you know, there's bones. There's all the bones. You're like, girl, you got all. And then the you toes. like put the bone. So I put it like this. And then finally, that is kind of bad. Whatever that. Yeah. yeah. Then finally, like they saw some of the foot there, and then I had all these bones in this napkin. And finally, my friend goes, "What is that? <laughs> What's that coming out of your soup?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Here we go." I'm like, "Oh, it's not this, just chicken." <laughs> but what? What? Finally goes out. She goes, what the hell is that? I'm like, it's chicken feet. Goes, Why are you eating chicken feet? And I'm just like, oh, these people don't understand. I'm like, um, oh, my you know grandma what? made I mean, it. Growing up, like, I was always scared of like, like eating in front of white kids. Like, oh my just, gosh. Just as a brat, right? Well, whenever I was younger, my dad would pack lunch. <laughs> and then like, I remember like all these like little kids, they would have the little Lunchables. And then they would bring like little sandwiches and stuff. But and I then, don't, I think but, as the oldest child, I always had lunch money. Oh, well, we, Paul, my little brother and the I. The poor we, kids. The poor kids. The poor siblings. Did not have money. To That's probably why so I'm, then, I'm larger than them. <laughs> <laughs> they fed you first, our golden child. <laughs> we got, it's true. We would, Paul and I would bring like little Tupperwares of Filipino food. So we would have like rice and like, just like, it's like dumb stuff. And then I would be embarrassed because like. Filipinos, no, well, the smell, yeah, but also like Filipinos, they use a spoon and a fork, so like, <laughs> <laughs> to eat food. Oh my god! Okay, so, so growing up, we, I had this conversation with him what, like last month. Like, uh -huh. oh, you eat with a spoon and a fork, but I'm like, that's normal. You we eat with a spoon and the and a fork all the time because you would take like, this is how my mom taught me. You would take the spoon. This is a spoon, and you would take the fork and like scoop your. I, that's normal, right? No, yeah. I, need I don't think it's very. I'm asking the wrong person. No, no it's only for like Filipinos. Those are the only ones that use a spoon and fork. I think. Well, I mean, sometimes people do use a spoon and a fork, but 
For I'm most meals, we would use a spoon and a fork. And I just remember, I would be like, oh, my dad packed a spoon and a fork, so I'm gonna have to use it during my lunch. And I'll be like, okay. So embarrassing. <laughs> and then eventually, like, over time, I, I became more comfortable, because like, who cares about like what you eat but so. see like, even i think i because because i i don't have any i don't have an older siblings i'm the oldest like i think even eating like like tuna i remember one of my girlfriends Brittany, was eating no no um my my girlfriend sable from choir was eating tuna like she packed her like little sun kiss like tuna packets with a little like you squeeze the mayo you put the little um, oh, relish yeah. and then you like mix it up and you have the crackers and i think she went to go throw away her food and I love tuna. Like, I love tuna. Like, tuna salad, like, tuna fish. So you tuna. took it out of the trash. No, 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 I did it. No, 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 no. As soon as Sable went to go, like, throw it away, like, Brittany was like, that smells so disgusting. And I'm like, yeah, so disgusting. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I love tuna. I just felt bad. And I was like, I was like, dang. And I think also growing up, like, I think a lot of Hispanics, um, like, in high school, like at band camp, remember when they would grill um, burgers, hot dogs, and yeah. uh, chicken or whatever? Uh-huh. They mm-hmm. would put ketchup and mayo, right? What is that called? Mayo ketchup? Mayo ketchup. Mayo ketchup. It's like a thing, and then I would do it. And then um, I think one time I I put it on my sandwich, and someone, like a, white, a, like a white like teacher or classmate was like, oh my god, did you just put mayonnaise on your sandwich? <laughs> and I was like... Oh my god, I thought it was ranch. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Like, I was never really confident in defending, like, like my taste buds. I mean, we all have our, our own taste. And I think what, what when we met Fabian, like, going in Orlando, there's a lot of, like, franchise businesses, so mm. he was a foodie, and I think that's one of the first things that we hung out. We're like, oh my god, I love food. And him and his um, his old friend, like, loved, like, following, like, an Instagram food blogger. The booty. But, like, in Orlando, there's not a lot of, like, French, not a lot of, like, mom and pop places like New York, Chicago, or L.A. where it's, like, you know, authentic to the culture because here there's Lebanese food, there's Persian food, mm. there's Asian food, there's Korean food. There's a lot of different types of food here. So good. Yeah, we went, today we went to Ike's. I know, without me. I just like a sandwich place. They're known for their Dutch crunch bread uh-huh. and really heavy I sandwiches. Go for their bread. It's good. Their bread it's good. Bread. Yeah, it's really really good. Do they good. have like bread and cream cheese or bread and butter? No. <laughs> bread and cheese. I'm sure you can order the just the rolls. Because mm. I went to Jersey Mike's the, the other day and uh, I bumped into a subscriber, uh-huh. and she they just order rolls from Jersey Mike's because they like it because they bake it fresh on premises and the, and when I worked at Panera they would do that. <laughs> so this weekend um, we went to DragCon. Patrick had a panel with Brett May and Laura and Manny. Manny. That was a lot of fun. So what did we do? We well, I got there by myself, so I walked around, and then um, eventually Patrick and Fabian showed up, and then mm-hmm. and they had the panel. And then that night, I lost my phone in West Hollywood, and like I didn't want to um, Snapchat like me out because there was like a lot of go-go dancers, a lot of dinglings, a lot of eggplants. So I was like, you know what? Let me just keep my Snapchat appropriate. I'm not posting. Just have a good time. Just enjoy without my phone. You know, because I feel like it's important to like just be without your phone and enjoy it. But in going and getting there, I was talking to my friend Ronnie and Steven, who are like my best friends in LA. And I told them, I was like, oh my God, meet me. And then they got there and I like waved to them. I'm like, hey, I'm here. And then I put it in my back pocket. But on the back pocket, like the top has like wide ripped like denim. You show her where is it? I don't want to look at it. I no, I, I don't want to look. At it. it just makes me so mad. And because it's ripped jeans, but the pocket is ripped too, so it's not even like a. Well, no, it, no, no, it, it held my pocket. It it held my phone. The pocket held my phone. I think it's just in placing it in my butt because you know my butt. I'm very curvilicious, and it just slipped. Yes. Today I got a new rose gold iPhone Seven Plus with the the Lumi. Can you, can you, everyone's probably, <laughs> everyone's probably, everyone's probably like, interested in what you're doing. I'm so sorry. So I gave up see, on that food. We see eggs. It, was, it tasted like beet. So I found two hard-boiled eggs, and um, we got peeled. To- can we establish you're going to read what you're going to order next time? It said calamari because, salad. Because I pay for this food, and you're not eating it. And if you're his family and you're watching, <laughs> he's waste, he's, this, this is wasteful. And it, it's happened. You see, he, he's not talking because he knows he knows I'm right. 
<clears throat> it's two hard boiled eggs, and we got pico de gallo on st on standby to oh, always. On standby, I had never even dipped into that pico. It's almost done. Yeah, I'm there, actually. <laughs> I didn't eat that. It was a small amount. <laughs> I'm already done. What's for dessert? <laughs> we don't eat dessert. Just kidding. I met Alyssa Edwards today. Mm. I'm good. Talk to them about that. So, luckily, you know, I went to... Dracon today. I was like, I want to meet Alyssa Edwards and she had a panel at one and his friend was like, okay She's in this room. Yeah, so I was in the green room and like all the drag queens they wait in there So I'm just waiting there. I say hello. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl But Alyssa Edwards came in. I was like Ooh. And then that was loud <laughs> I think we did that no, the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, so then she came into the room. I was like Wow but she was only in there for like two seconds, so I didn't want to like also disturb her because she was talking, she was speaking to Raven, and she was like, mwah, mwah, you know, saying hello to the girls, and I'm like, let me not interrupt. She was so hot at me because we're friends. She is. Mm -hmm. He actually sent me a video of her saying hello to me, which made me in our tourist day. I'm but, very well connected in this industry. Mm -hmm. Very. Yep, the drag industry. <laughs> speaking of drag, mm -hmm. Peter, asked to, Peter asked me to do his brows. <laughs> and it was so funny because I was like, oh, let me just try this new foundation, the Georgia Armani. And then he looked really good. And then we... And then we're like, hey, just in case, let's take a picture. <laughs> let's take... Ah, oh, it's on my phone that I lost. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn oh it. Gosh. So Patrick took a test picture of me with a flash on. And then it turned out that I looked Ooh, like a ghost. You look like a cast it was so bad. But I, I am like, going to go to the club tonight to see if I can find my phone. Not to go out. I'm just going to go like this. See if I can find my phone. But if I do, oh y'all better pray I find my phone. But then he fixed my makeup and then it looked really good. Mm -hmm. First, Patrick was gonna use, you know, drugstore makeup, and then Peter, you know, he's very <laughs> no, uh, uh, I uh, never George know. Oh my God, that's all I like to use. The scary Uber driver. Oh my gosh, Baby was telling me this earlier. I was already, like, I was pretty much harassed. Anyways, <laughs> I was harassed by our Uber driver, Patrick. Wait, well, let me paint this scene. So we look for my phone, right? We, we like tracked it to the word on the Find My iPhone app, and then we look, it's not there. Police officers kicked Fabian out of the parking lot because he wasn't supposed to be there. But <laughs> that's where they said, I know, crazy. But that's where the little tracker said it was in the deputy parking lot. But they didn't have the phone. Someone must have got my phone to that point, like two blocks away from where we were clubbing. And then Uber from there. So we pick up our Uber in that spot to go home. And when the, like, I'm on the phone, distraught, talking to um, Peter. I lost my phone, I lost my phone, and Fabian's having a ball of a time. No. Playing guessing where he's from. <laughs> he had where was he from? So I don't know. Okay, I don't okay, okay. Where's no, where's he from? Cameroon. What's what's Cameroon? And he had like Isn't a little amazing? he had like a, yeah, a, a, a little top hat that that was like very patterned. It looked like he was from like an island or Af some part of Africa. Yeah. I had a very, very strong accent. So after that... Wait, wait, so, wait, tell them where you were sitting because... Okay, Patrick's in the back seat. I just hopped in the um, passenger seat. We're like, in a big SUV. Mm-hmm. Because Patrick didn't scoot over, so I was like, fine, I'll sit in the front. <laughs> and then I get there, and then I talk... We're just like, you know, I'm always very friendly. So I'm I like, didn't hear anything. All I, heard, all I heard was him saying, guess what I'm from? <laughs> guess what I'm from? No, more south. More <laughs> south. No, no, no. You're thinking too far. And I'm just like... <laughs> I, you know, I just lost my phone. So I'm like, like, excuse me, can you please be a little bit more quiet? I just lost my phone. <laughs> and he's like, well, I pray you find your phone. <laughs> I don't know what accent it was, but he, he sounded like that, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. He did, he did. So, like, I was just like, be nice. So, you know, he had a long night, whatever. I'm like, okay, so and I'm then guessing. He was saying, and then he was like, he was saying, like, oh, it's very crowded around here. Like, what's, what's going on? It's way crowded. And I'm like, well, it's a Saturday. He's like, but it's crowded. And I'm like. Anyways, I just lost my phone. Baby was like entertaining him. <laughs> We're like ten minutes, ten twenty minutes away from like my like being home. So it's a it's a quite a long drive. So he's asked me again, where where is he from? Like Haiti? No, Jamaica? No, Zimbabwe? Like I just kept guessing. No, I'm like I don't know. And like while he's asking me this, he's putting he 
put his hand on my lap. And I went, okay. And then, like, kind of wish around, like, okay, he's from, like, a different country. Maybe he doesn't understand barriers. I'm just like, I'll just let it say, like, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, then he did it again. And he went, like, give me your hand. He went like this. Like, he's there. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. And, like this, and I went, okay. <laughs> And then he, he tried like, to do it again. I was like, like okay. Big, like, he looked like, like a father, like, working in an Uber. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, he did. And then we, I was like, okay, this conversation, he's doing the most of me. Cut it. He about to get one star, star. I'm not about this. So I just said, put your hands down. No more talking. I'm going to be looking off over here. Like, And I then he went like chatting. this. All of a sudden, I see him go like this. Oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like... He was like <laughs> And then he kept talking about Patrick's phone. And then he goes, oh, I have lots of pictures on my phone. So hopefully, did you back up your phone? And Patrick's still on phone. He's like, Patrick's like, yeah, like, okay. No, and I didn't then, even respond. But, like, you were talking. So it seemed like you were. Oh. So, like, he's just like, oh, yeah, back up your phone. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And I'm, I'm like, this guy is, like, already creeping me out. So then he goes, yeah, I got a lot of pictures on my phone. And then he gives me his phone. So I'm just like, and I, I look, I'm like, and I look at it. It's a bunch of naked guys, naked, naked, like all these naked guys. <laughs> like, all and then these, like, if, if you were to paint the picture, like all these twinks. Yes, like, yes, all phone. twinks. And then like, he's like scrolled it and I'm just like, okay, um, here you go. I'm like, and then he played a video. Wait, and he did? He you didn't tell me this one. He Wait. actually pressed uh, a one very of the things. very inappropriate video. Like an a, actual video on a, a sp- sexual, yeah. He didn't mean to do that. He just backed it and I heard noise. David was like, <gasps> I love <laughs> it. I was disgusted. First of all, I was like, I need to get out of this car now. And I'm like, Patrick doesn't even know what's going on. No, I didn't because think about it. I'm distraught over my phone. So I was just like, okay, here you go, phone. I'm like, okay. So he kept trying to talk to me. He's like, do you live alone? I was like, oh, no, I got a roommate. I got a roommate. I don't have a roommate. But I told him I did because he was scaring the hell out of me. He goes, are we doing two stops? I'm like, no, one stop, one stop. I'm what like, would have happened if he dropped off Fabian after? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so then he kept trying to also get my hand again, and I was holding my hands like a fist down on <laughs> my lap, and then he kind of like fist pumped me from the <laughs> side, and I was just like, uh, uh, uh. and then finally oh we get gosh. out of the car, the car stops, I just jump out of the car, I hear him talking, like trying to say something, I was like, I need to get out, so I just ran away, and that one star, and I reported him today. That's good. You did? That's yeah. Good. That's good. That you did. Yeah, my, people were saying you need to report him because he should not be doing that. No, yeah, yeah. That's inappropriate. I just put unprofessional. Sexually that, unprofessional. You, you said that? Yes. But this is an Uber no, Black, I, by the way. Walking. This is an Uber Black. We didn't get no, the cheap, we got an Uber Black. We were like in distress. So we're like, let's get Uber Black. So we got Uber Black and he's not Uber, he was not Uber Black like status. He was like under. He was just, like, oh, he just had the car. He, he was, was like, like under like pool. Uber <laughs> pool. <laughs> It was, I was just like, oh my god! I was scared. I really was scared. So I went inside here. Like the I can't apartment. believe you could have sat in the back because like there was only two. No, of you guys. but literally, like, he wouldn't scoot cool. over. But I mind you, I had my long eleganza sequin. <laughs> okay, but like face. even then, like maybe you could have walked around the other side. No, no it was, it was the just, other side was, was a lot of traffic. Okay, just, yeah, okay. yeah, and okay, most okay. of the time, actually, to be honest, most of the time I always sit in the passenger seat. Okay. Like especially with them, I just sit in the passenger seat. Well, because. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So dang, that's crazy. That's scared me. So just be careful in your Uber, Uber rides. Yeah. Or Lyft. Yeah, honestly, like thinking about it, like we're laughing about it, but yeah. honestly, but like, like just yeah, be, like really be careful if you guys are going out to the club or if you guys are not even eighteen and you guys want to go, like go out with with some friends that are responsible and like. <laughs> Fabian and I were always responsible. Peter didn't go out with us that night, but just be responsible. Because I would be the out. one that would be the most responsible because I don't like do any of that. Crazy stuff. What are you trying to say? I don't do any of that crazy <laughs> stuff too. Patrick's <laughs> not crazy to your, out of all of us. Not according to your Snapchat from last night. Okay, I did. <laughs> okay, okay. I The way I did that. Y'all know how I said I wasn't snapping. <laughs> Show them what you snapped. <laughs> yeah, nasty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, let mess. me explain. I'm not partaking in doing the activities, but this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Just show them. All right. Oh, they I, 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 well, we no. can't really. Sh- we can't show this. So. Yes, we can. No, we can't. They have underwear. <laughs> Wait, you're not looking at the phone. Why are you looking at the TV? That's <laughs> 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 so dumb. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Oh my gosh. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's Mukbang Monday. Hopefully you guys can join us next week for another episode. Let me know if you want me back for the series because I live here <laughs> and I pay for all the food. Thank you for paying for the food today, Patrick. It was the one time that you paid. We paid last week. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much for watching today's Mukbang Monday. Join us for another episode. If you guys aren't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, follow Fabian and Patrick on their social medias. I'll subscribe link everything to me on Snapchat, Twitter, below. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they already know who you are. So just make sure to follow us. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little talk. And we love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I shall see you guys very, very soon. Ciao. Bye. Bye. You spit. Did I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>